right, you guys, here we go with the second part of the video. You remember the caramel sauce that I told you I made from the caramel cake and I froze it and it is still great texture. The flavor is still there. I want you to see this. I mean, just like it was when I made it. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, this is a half a cup of uh, chopped walnuts and I want to put the caramel in here and I'm going to stir it. And then I want you to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Okay, let me put this down so you guys can see it. So I'm gonna say do maybe three tablespoons of the caramel sauce. Look at that. Okay, and we're going to stir this. See that? Wow. And what's going to happen, we're going to put it on this fall and we're going to put it in the oven probably for about 10 minutes. I'm going to say 7 to 10 minutes because I want kind of a crunch on this when we do the banana foster. You guys, I said brulee. I mean banana foster. All right, spread it out on this fall paper, 7 to 10 minutes on 375. Then we'll come back and do the banana foster, and we will be done. All right, you guys, remember the walnuts I told you to mix with the caramel mixture and leave uh, in the oven for about seven to 10 minutes on 375? Oh my God, you guys, these walnuts are so good mixed with the caramel sauce. Now, when it first come out, it's going to seem a little puffy, but let it cool for about 10 minutes and then just uh, gather them up like I did. You see how sticky that is? And we're going to put them on top of the banana foster. You guys don't skip this part. I could just eat the walnuts by themselves, but I'm going to do it with the banana foster. But again, these are the walnuts that was mixed in that uh, caramel sauce. All right. We're down to the last stretch. I know it seems like a lot, you guys, but it's really not. Um, it's really simple to make once you get the bread pudding. Now, the banana foster, you know, you kind of want to light it on fire and flambe it. We'll just see how well I can do that. All right. Okay, you guys, in this skillet here, I have one-fourth cup of butter and one cup of light brown sugar. And remember, we should be using dark, but I did not have any dark brown sugar. So we're just gonna melt the butter and the brown sugar together. So this is what you do first. And once this melt down, I'll come back and show you what we do next. All right, you guys, to the brown sugar and butter, I added one, teaspoon of banana extract and two bananas that I cut up. I'm sorry you guys, seeing like I'm trying to lose my chain of thought. Okay, and the bananas, the bananas was not very ripe. I don't really like mushy bananas. So this is what I'm going to try to do so you guys can see this. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to put it down and I'm going to slowly add the rum, which is, sorry you guys, phone is on 20%, which is a half of one-fourth cup of Bacardi rum. I didn't want to use the full one-fourth cup because I felt like it'd be a little too strong, but all right, here I go. Let me see if I can let you guys see this. Now I'm going to add the rum. Okay. This is the rum right here. See that? Now I'm going to see if I can do my magic. Hold on, you guys. We'll see.
if I can get this thing to go on. <laughs> Hold on. You feel all right when you like, when you like. I guess it's not okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we're not lighting. Okay, let's try it with the wrong. I got a little left. Let's see what we do here. Alrighty then. Did it go? It ain't staying. But anyway, it's burning long as I hold it. Come on. You need to light. Maybe because I didn't put enough rum in it, you guys. But this is the banana foster that should have lit. But I guess because I didn't put enough rum in it, it didn't light. But all right, you guys. This is the finished product of the unlit <laughs> banana foster. So I'll just call it unlit banana foster. Well, look at that. All right. When I come back, you will see the final presentation. Once you add the rum and stir it for about a minute, if yours light, once the flame go out, cut it off. If not, give it a minute, then cut the burner off and take it off the burner. Yum! Don't that look delicious? Okay, you guys, we are finished here is the finished product of the banana foster bread pudding you guys check that out when i tell you yummy 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 for your tummy oh my lord and the caramel pecans just really set it off i put them in these little decorative glasses uh i want you to put this on your holiday menu and of course i just topped it with a cherry I didn't have any mint leaves or would have put a mint leaf, which would be more appropriate. But anyway, you guys, check that out. Okay, I know you guys know I'm going to take a bite, right? Hold on, because I want you guys to see this now. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the bread pudding. You see how nice it is? See the custard there? All right. I'm going in. <laughs> wow. Again, I don't want to have to say you guys have to try this. Please put it on your holiday menu. Please. I guarantee you, your guests are going to love it. I want you to see that pudding. Look at that. You see the caramel walnuts? Gives it a nice crunch. All right, come on, let's go in. Let's go in. Might as well get a banana, huh? Probably gonna make a hot mess, but check that out, you guys. One last time. One last time. Anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And you guys, I really appreciate all of my new subscribers and my old faithful returning subscribers. Again, check me out on Facebook, Kingdom Barbecue. LLC, Instagram, and Twitter, Kingdom Barbecue Catering, and on Pinterest, Kingdom Barbecue, and a new Facebook page called Queen of Scones. God bless you guys. 
I will see you again very soon and have a great week.